I think in uh, primary school, I was about seven, the music teacher brought in a guitar, a classical guitar, and we were all allowed to touch it and play it. Uh, and that's the very first time I had seen a guitar. From that moment on, I tried to make one. Uh, Bart has admitted uh, many times since that from that point on, he was obsessed with the idea of uh, of playing guitar and holding guitars and just the shape of them. The table was just a disappear. I think there's an important time and place situation uh, there which explains a lot of his music. I think the main thing was that uh, I didn't know my father. And if I've met him, I've only met him once. The first time I met Bert was, um, was at the house. Which was really a primal uh, folk club, uh, and an extraordinary centre of bohemian activity. Once I realised that the world was a lot bigger than just like the you know, square half mile that I was brought up. There were all these people who had, for whatever reason, all come together at the same time. And Bert was actually resident in the house, uh, making soup and coffee and stuff. He's always there, playing about with guitars, or his own guitar, somebody else's guitar. Plink, 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 plink and the black hair going, you know. Really, he was part of this community of extraordinary characters. Uh, traditional singers like Delaney McLennan, much older traditional singers like uh, Jeannie Robertson and uh, Len Partridge, an extraordinary, amazing, before his time, 12-string uh, guitar player by night. It was an amazing place. You just never knew who was going to turn up. One night we were extremely lucky. We had um, Sonny Tiny Brownie McGee, you know, that made a tremendous impression on Burn. Brownie McGee played, I think it was at Keith and the Highway. And Bert asked him to play it again, and he just sat there transfixed. Here were two people who were, you know, out of the ether. The following morning, Bert was doing a fair, fairly good interpretation of Keys of the Highway. You know, I don't know if I actually subscribe to the idea that you know that uh, Bert instantly was playing playing Key to the Highway, wherever it is, the next day. But it, it doesn't really matter. What it did do. Um, was it obviously s sort of started something for Bert, which he never lost.
Poison is um, one of the best songs I've ever 